So I bought these new swimming goggles. They're they're made here in China, but I'm not quite sure what the brand is. I've never heard of it before. It's um Naba Nabaiji? Nabaiji, I think. I, I honestly don't know. Anyways, uh I usually go with the Speedos, but uh, I couldn't find any Speedos here in Zhongshan, so these are gonna have to do and I'm excited to try them out. Now, most Chinese people that I meet don't know how to swim. However, um, especially the younger generation are uh, more and more learning how to swim. And uh, here in Zhongshan, there's a couple of places you can go. If your apartment community has a swimming pool, you can go there, but uh, most of them do not. Um, then there's also the gyms, but the gyms with the swimming pools are a little on the expensive side. Then there's the city swimming pool, which is here in Zhongshan, very nice. It's big. Yeah, indoor and outdoor, and it's not expensive. It's something like 25 RMB to go swimming. And uh, the problem with that one is it's very crowded. Now, when I lived in Shaolin, there was a, a swimming pool there called Hawaii Spa Center. I've been there before. I've done a video on it even. And that place was really cool. It had hot tubs and water jets and kind of a hydrotherapy kind of place, including a hot and dry sauna. But it has since closed. But that's up in Shaolin. Here in Shichi, they have the same one called Hawaii Spa Center, and it's bigger, and they still have the hot water jets and stuff like that. Um, my, if I recall, there's more children at this one, but it being a Monday afternoon, I'm hoping to have the whole place to myself. Let's find out. Now, because the Hawaii Spa Center is bigger and has all these more amenities, it's a little more expensive. And if you're just going for the day, it's 50 RMB. But you can get a 10 pack uh, for 400 RMB. So it's 40, time, 40 RMB every time you go. And that's what I typically do, you know. I go maybe once or twice a month and uh, just enjoy a good swim and then they have to soak in the hot tub. Now here's the entrance to the Hawaii Spa. Uh, it's the Hawaii Spa world here. Um, my understanding is that it's owned by a Taiwanese family, and there's many of them uh, in different parts of China, too. This is one of the outdoor lap pools. It, this one's usually very, very uh, crowded, but I can see that it's not so bad. Right, so here's a little entrance, and they even have like a little shop. They say you're supposed to wear a cap, but I don't have any hair, so they don't bother me. I'm just like, ah, I don't want to wear a cap, I don't have any hair. The showers look like this is much cleaner and bigger than the one in Shaolin was in the dressing room and for 20 RMB they give you a little key for the lockers outside. Here's what the inside looks like. Uh, you got a little kitty area here for the kids which is very cool. Uh, lockers are here, uh, lap swimming and then over there is the hydro uh, therapy and you've got like a little waiting area here that you use to uh, learn how to swim. And this little rock area is actually a waterfall that comes down. You, as soon as you stand under it, they turn it on for you, which is really cool. But these water jets are really cool. Uh, also over here, they have uh, an actual gym that if you get the full package, which is not cheap, you can do weightlifting and working out and do some yoga. They got ping pong. And then after that, you can come take a dip. So it's a full blown, um, uh, a fitness area and it's actually very big and very nice and the good thing about this place is that it's clean I mean they recycle the water a lot which is great yeah, I just got done swimming I only did about 15 laps not a whole bunch uh, I might get in a little bit later this one's obviously for the kids absolutely love it a little outdoor of course an indoor slides play area for the kids it's got a very heavy smell of chlorine in here so Hanging out in here is not the most fun. You kind of want to be outside. It's supposed to be a little snack bar, but they really just sell drinks and stuff. Here's the weight room. Lots of cardio. It's actually really well appointed. I'm impressed by it. The indoor lap pool is not nearly as crowded. It's not as popular. But then you come over here to the this area over here. A nice little sitting area, a little outdoor patio over there, that's cool. 
And this is the showers, restroom. And then I got jets here. They kind of come down and then a waterfall. And then all of these like little hydro therapy areas, especially this over here, that's really cool. That's a high pressure one. I really dig that one. And the water is um, kind of bathtub warm in here, so it's not too uncomfortable. Uh, this little area right here is great for learning how to swim. A lot of people doing that. And then some more like lounge chairs here. And then these little pods have jets on the bottom for your feet. They're really, really cool. Uh, and then you can lie down over there and get like a aqua massage. And of course here you've got a wet steam room, a cold therapy room, another wet steam room, and a dry sauna. And the dry sauna is pretty awesome. But this over here is where you come from. You have this is really cold right here. And then you have all of these other like little hot springs that you can sit in. Pretty uh, pretty nice. See, this is really cool. You go from the hot sauna you do some stretching you get your muscles good and you get into the refrigerator where it's <coughs> it's very cold and that feels great Ooh. they say it's good for the skin they say it's good for the blood i just think it feels great it's mostly children and families you get middle-aged guys doing their laps you get older ladies just wanting to get wet you rarely see you know the the beautiful girl in the bikini. And all this doesn't exist here in China. Even if you go to the beach in Zhuhai or something, that pretty girl in the bikini does not exist. I mean, I'm wearing board shorts that go down to my knees, which is like standard in California, right? And of course the women wear bikinis in California. Here, the men wear bikinis, you know? And the women wear dresses. I don't know how they swim in a dress. It, it's gotta get in the way.